Hello, it's Amanda Labreck here. Today I wanted to share with you the book titled Malala's Magic Pencil. This book was written by Malala Yousafzai and illustrated by Kara Skirt. I'm reading this book to you with permission from Little Brown and Company. Do you believe in magic? When I was younger, I used to watch a TV show about a boy who had a magic pencil. If he was hungry, he drew a bowl of curry and it appeared. If he and his friends were in danger, he drew a police officer. The boy was a little hero, always protecting people who needed help. How I wanted a magic pencil too. If I had a magic pencil, I would use it to put a lock on my door so my brothers couldn't bother me. Stop time so I could sleep an extra hour every morning. Erase the smell of the trash dump near our house. And I would use it to make other people happy. I would draw the most beautiful dresses in the world for my mother, the best buildings in the valley for my father, so he could open many schools where children would study for free. A proper ball, so my brothers and I no longer had to play with an old sock stuffed with rubbish. Every night before I went to bed, I wished for a magic pencil of my own. And every morning I would wake up and check my cupboard but the magic pencil was never there. One day, I was throwing away potato peels and eggshells at the dump. I was wrinkling my nose, swatting away flies, and making sure I didn't step on anything dirty in my nice shoes, when I saw a girl about my age sorting trash into piles. Nearby, boys were fishing for metal scraps using magnets on string. When my father returned home from work, I told him what I'd seen. It made him sad. Abba, I said. Yes, Yanni, he said back. I always liked when he called me dear one. Why haven't I seen that girl in my class? Because, he said, but he didn't finish right away. Because, Yanni, in our country, not everyone sends their daughters to school and some children must work to support their family. Those boys will sell the metal scraps they find. If they went to school, their families would go hungry. School was my favorite place, but I had never considered myself lucky to be able to go. My father had always said, Malala will live free as a bird. Now I wondered how free I'd truly be. That night, I thought about families who didn't have enough food and the girl who couldn't go to school and even about how when I was older, I would be expected to cook and clean for my brothers because where I came from, many girls weren't allowed to become what they dreamed of. I knew then that if I had the magic pencil, I would use it to draw a better world, a peaceful world. First, I would erase war, poverty, and hunger. Then I would draw girls and boys together as equals. Over the next few years, instead of wishing for a magic pencil every night, I worked hard in school every day. I wanted to be one of the top students in my class. But soon, powerful and dangerous men declared that girls were forbidden from attending school. They walked the streets of our city now. They carried weapons. One by one, girls stopped coming to school. Abba, where are all the students? They don't feel safe here anymore, Yanni. How could a few men stop all the girls in our valley from going to school? If more people knew what was happening to us, I thought they might help. Wishing wasn't enough. Someone needed to speak out. Why not me? I wrote about what it felt like to be scared to walk to school and how some of my friends had moved away because of the threat they had faced in our city. I wrote about how much I loved school and how proud I was of my uniform. Once I started writing, I didn't stop. I wrote speeches and traveled around my country, sharing my story. I even talked to a reporter from a famous international newspaper. People actually wanted to learn about my life. I spoke for all the girls in my valley who couldn't speak for themselves. My voice became so powerful that the dangerous men tried to silence me, but they failed.
And now my voice is louder than ever, louder because people have joined me and together we make a chorus standing up for what we believe. We raise our voices for those in need, help people in danger, even if they are an ocean away. Think of the world as a family. Do you still believe in magic? I do. I wrote alone in my room, but people all over the world were reading my story. Millions know, now know it. Millions now know it and help me spread my message of hope. I had at last found the magic I was looking for in my words and in my work. I am Malala. I've always wished I could make the world a more peaceful place. And every day I work to make my wish come true. One child, one teacher, one book, and one pen can change the world. The end.